Hi, I'm the Marmot Reviews and this is the reviewer. Uh, before anything else, I just want to say sorry for such a long delay. Uh, I don't really remember when my last video was, perhaps the same the January time. Run about the first anniversary of the reviewer, I guess. Uh, I've got a job since my last episode, so that's why things have taken so long and um, been a bit infrequent. That might continue, it might not. Uh, see how it goes, I guess. In my last episode, I reviewed the reviewer itself, and in this episode, I'll be reviewing a place I went to on holiday in France. Uh, it's a restaurant called Entrecote. Entrecote is a restaurant that specialises in steak, so that's pretty much all there is on the menu. Uh, if you've ever been to Nantes in France, it's very close to commerce, and it's also usually very busy. Now, I don't speak any French, so how I got by is anyone's guess. Uh, I've been to Nantes twice with my family to see my brother, who was staying over there for uh, about eight months. He came back around end of April time. Uh, and while we were over there the first time, we were told about this steak place, but I don't think we were told the name, only that it was close to commerce. But we never actually went to get there, uh, to go there. So we made sure to go there before we left when we went over the second time. Okay, so the menu. It's steak, and that's pretty much it. You do have the option of how you want it, how you like it cooked, and uh, then they bring it. When they bring it over, it's already been sliced for you, so that's good. And it's in this sauce, which is really nice. Um, I don't remember what the sauce is, and I was actually quite surprised when I found out it tasted really nice because I didn't like the look of it, and I'm quite picky with food. But uh, I was proved wrong. Uh, very nice. Uh, c the steak comes with endless chips, free of charge, I believe, and I think more steak, but you have to pay for any extra steak you get. When we went there, I don't think the staff understood us though, because we ordered uh, medium to well done, and I think they brought us over medium rare. Uh, still very tasty nonetheless. Uh, it was rather pricey, then again it is in euros, so maybe it isn't pricey because of the exchange rate. So it might not be as expensive as I thought it was. Uh, I later found out, a few weeks or maybe a month after we came back from Nantes, um, that there is another Orchard Coat uh, where I live in Cardiff Bay. Well, I don't live in Cardiff Bay, that's just where the Orchard Coat is, I live in Cardiff. So, uh, <laughs> the, the one down in Cardiff Bay is near to where the Glee Club is. I've been in a Glee Club, but uh, that's for another review. I'd really like to go to the Orange Club down in Cardiff Bay, as uh, for a start it's a lot closer, and it's in English so everything will be easier. So if you ever find yourself in Nantes in France, make sure firstly you have a good knowledge of French, um, because it would appear that the people there don't seem to speak good English, mm -hmm, I don't know. Um, secondly, you have to check out Orange Code, it's totally worth it, really nice food, and uh, yeah, just totally have to check out, it's a place to be. Commerce is a central channel bus stop, so you really can't miss it. Also, if you're staying a while, how about uh, checking out the football? That's where I got this from. If you can't see, this is the FC Nantes uh, football badge. I got this in the club shop, and I got it printed as well. With my name and number, of course. <laughs> so, that's all for this episode. Be sure to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, go back and watch all my other videos, and remember, you can like me on Facebook. It's me again, the Man Rock Reviews, and in this post credits clip I'd just like to show you two things rather than one, because uh, it's been such a long time since my last video. Uh, first up is this. It's quite heavy. WWE's Million Dollar Championship Belt. A uh, little bit of backstory into that. I've been after it for, well I've had my eye on it for the past few years. I was finally in a position to be able to buy it about six months ago, say. And there was a bit of a problem, and I didn't end up ordering it, so that was a big shame. Uh, however, I tried it a few months later, probably around March, April time, and it came this time. It's probably the most expensive thing I own, coming in at about £400 plus pounds, including delivery and whatever. Um, it's very heavy, it's gold plated, I believe, and these are zircons that make up the $3 signs here. Uh, one of these diamonds on the S's on the side, which are a bit like watch links, I guess, actually fell out 
uh, whence it had been delivered. It was uh, that one there. I had to super glue that back in, so that's why it's a bit stuff around the side. And to connect it at the back, instead of having the usual method, for those of you that watch wrestling, know what the usual method is, uh, you instead have a button on the top of this half of an S, and on the bottom, you press them together, you put the three uh, bits into the holes on the other side, and it's together, so you can put it around your shoulder like that, and it looks <laughs> really cool. This uh, makes me look and feel very rich. <laughs> and the second thing, which I will show you now, is uh, to do with my job. So, there we go. That is to do with my job. This, which you can't really see me, but it doesn't matter. This here was when I didn't have a job and I had a bit of a moan saying about how I can't get a job, no one gets back to me, it's really not fair, I've tried really hard. So yeah, a bit of a moan really. And then in between this bit here and this lot over here, I had a lot of emails offering to look at my CV, telling me where there were jobs going, so that was really nice. And a few weeks later, followed the fastest five days of my life, going from finding a job to apply for to having my first day, so it can't be all bad. <laughs> so this is the article we wrote uh, after I told them I had a job, and they offered to do a story, so this is a story. Um, and then this is it that was actually in the paper because this was on the internet. The paper is the South Wales Echo and uh, that was page three so I was very happy about that and this was the bit on the first page to tell you where to read the whole story. This came in the following edition and uh, just a comment, this one here about um, well done or finding a job so that was really nice of them. So I've glued all this down onto a bit of backing card and I intend to get it framed or maybe laminated or something, maybe put up on my wall, because I can. <laughs> and yeah, so that's everything for the post-credits clip. Hope you've enjoyed it.